Brothers and sisters, Eid is a time for personalized, well thought out, sensitive gifts. It doesn't have to be expensive. Look, this is something I have done myself. This is uh, for my uh, beloved wife, Shaista Bibi. Uh, she's looking very pretty. And this is for my beloved son, um, Faisal. Mashallah. I love you, Faisal. And together, it is quite cheap as well. Win, win, win. Assalamu alaikum everybody. This is Ibrahim from Islamic Finance Guru. A really warm Eid Mubarak to you and your families. For this video, I've set loose Uncle Faisal and Cousin Maj to share their personal finance tips. I think I'm going to regret this. Today, I'm going to be sharing my money saving tips because the brothers at Islamic Finance Guru have put me in charge. And inshallah, they're going to be better than some of their tips because my tips are real. Brother, send me your address by text message. Inshallah, we're going to send you something for Eid. A really top tip is if you tell people early that you're going to send them Eid presents, what I do, I go in WhatsApp and I send all of my contacts a message saying, can I please have your address? Now they think I'm going to send them Eid gifts. So they all send me their Eid gifts early. And so then what I do is I take them, mix them all up and send them to all of the different people, the different Eid gifts. Zero pound Eid gift cost this year for me. Salam. Hi, this is Madge here. Eid is a sometimes quite challenging time for me as a slightly more affluent member of my family. The reason is because one doesn't want to offend one's family by giving a gift that is seen as more extravagant uh, than the recipient is used to. And so I'm constantly on the lookout for bargains. I mean, look at this one I picked up. It's a dark chocolate uh, and ginger cookie from Belgium uh, that I picked up for uh, just 53 pounds and 66 pence. An absolute steal in my view. Look, all the parents have to give their ED to the children, right? Well, what is the best thing that a father can give his son? Right? What is the most valuable thing that a father can give? And I said, I'm going to give that this year. Would you like some Eid? Eid present? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh Allah, make Suleiman a pious, obedient son. Make him the uh, coolness of my eyes. Make Suleiman not a naughty boy. Uh, make him eat less. Uh, but enough to survive. So that I don't have to take him to the hospital. Eat, but eat enough. I mean, Amin Suma Amin. Suleiman ko Amin. Amin. Good boy. Good boy. Eid Mubarak. <laughs> bargains, bargains. Oh yes, Marks and Spencers is cheaper than Waitrose these days. <laughs> A great gift this Eid is to use the Tesco profit rolls. Because you see there's a cunning design flaw in this. You can slip this off, turn it upside down, open it up, take out two or three profit rolls, still looks pretty full to be honest, slip this straight back in there, and then you can just give it away. And for the price of three profit roll boxes, you can give away five profit roll boxes. It's healthier as well, to be honest, because you're giving away less profit rolls. Uh, it's, it's saving for the NHS, save the NHS, there being no Eid Salah this uh, Ramadan, but you should still do Eid Salah at home. I am going to do my Eid Salah and give the khutbah, you know, lead the family by example is what I say. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to my house. Um, and I say to all of you, to the wife and the children in this gathering, you have to be obedient to your husband, obedient to your father. You have to respect. He goes out every day, he works hard and he earns the social security benefits that he applies for. It didn't come easy, you know. The father, I say, be humble and remember the wife and the children are fitna for you and you have to be patient with them. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in the Quran, he says, marry one or two or three or four and if one dies, even five. Oh God, what are you talking about? Oh. Yeah, um, khutbah didn't really go down well, to be honest. 
a lot of businesses are really struggling during this COVID period. So what I've done is I've talked to the wedding venues who are really struggling as well. And you can pick up some absolute bargains with them and then use them for your Eid gifts. So I, for one, I'm giving all of my neighbors uh, chocolate favors and little bags of pista badam. Yeah, so I've been uh, dabbling a little bit in the uh, painting auctions. I've been buying a minor work of Leonardo da Vinci for a distant cousin of mine, actually. He's a member of parliament for Harrow. One, one five, did you say? Uh, is that 15 million or f one point? Oh, 1 1.5 million is fine, yeah. Raise, raise, 1.6, fine. 1.8, yeah, fine. Yes, as I said, it's just a minor gift. That's all it is. Yeah, it was pretty cheap, about two million in the end. A nice token of my appreciation, I say.